I always get so smiley when I start recording. I don't know why. Uh, it's because I probably just feel so awkward talking to the camera right now. But I have to overcome it and I have to start talking to you guys because I get so many DMs on my Instagram asking for advice. Now, this video is going to be all about the biggest mistakes I used to make when following a DIY recipe from the internet. Now, if you have been watching my channel or have seen my previous videos, you'll know that I first started formulating blindly, I'm going to say, um, at home and I just followed DIY recipes that I would find online. Um, now, I've always suffered with sensitive skin, so, um, and I also suffer with psoriasis, so, products, finding products that suited me was very, very difficult. Now, when I was doing, one of the biggest mistakes I made whilst following DIY recipes is that I didn't actually understand the ingredient. For example, I wouldn't understand the fatty, um, fatty acids comp uh, composition, like is it high in oleic acid, um, is it high in lino, linoleic, how do I say that? I don't know, but you know what I mean. And do these ingredients work well together? Do I know how, I didn't understand melting points, I didn't understand um, which phase it needed to go in, I just basically threw all the ingredients together and stirred and that's exactly what I did. Um, and now looking back, I realize actually, I could have been doing more damage to my skin than I thought I um, was doing. And because I was following these DIY recipes, I probably compromised my skin barrier. Now, what actually compromised my skin barrier? As, as you already know, I have very sensitive skin. So number one, I find it very difficult to find products that suit me and using anything with a fragrance or essential oils in my products, I tend to sting or it sensitizes my skin where I end up with red blotches or um, it burns or stings or I'll end up with a breakout. So when I was following DIY recipes, I didn't understand that essential oils, although they smell amazing, they are actually, it could be the reason why my skin was becoming even more sensitive. Because when you are actually using essential oils, there are dermal limits that you need to be um, adhering to. Now, Ifra, I've forgotten um, the actual n name, but they are basically the governing body of the Fragrance Association and they set the dermal limits. Now you learn all of this in Formula Botanica's course and when I did the course, I didn't realize how beneficial this was. Um, and it's amazing, there's so much more with dermal limits, you also get to understand how to blend your essential oils safely. Now that was massive because sometimes you want something different, you know, you want to spice it up a bit, you want a woody scent or you want something that's floral or citrusy. Uh, you get to experiment all of these. Now that was my second mistake I made was um, essential oils, not using dermal limits. And I was just going one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that smells great. So that's why my skin was becoming even more sensitive is because I didn't understand or work out the dermal limit. Now that brings me on to regulations. Now it's quite key because when I was doing these DIY recipes for, you know, my body scrubs or for myself, I actually had no idea what the law was in order for me to sell skincare. And I always have been quite passionate about skincare. Even if I do have sensitive skin or psoriasis, my skin is not 100%, but I've always been passionate about it. But I had that fear of, you know, what if, 
I messed someone's skin up. Like that, that's a big massive liability on me because I didn't know how to formulate properly. Now, that for me was scary, which is why I stopped. And that's one of the reasons why I also took Formula Botanica's course. Now, if you are looking to take the course, you're going to learn everything that I've just mentioned in this video. Um, I would not sell you something that I don't agree with, first of all. Um, you guys have been following my journey and I like to share what I'm doing. And I found it quite a struggle to kind of find somebody who was actually willing to share what they've been through um, and what they find um, easy, what they find hard. And someone who's just genuinely going to answer all the questions. So if you do have any other questions, let me know below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. And if you are looking to join Formula Botanica, I'm going to drop a link below where they have a free masterclass. So don't forget to sign up because that free masterclass is exactly where it all started for, for myself. And I know how beneficial it is because the moment you do that masterclass, you're going to want to know more. And you're going to be sucked in so well because those masterclasses are packed full of information. And you're just going to want to know more and more and more. And so make the use of it. Formula Botanica have loads and loads and loads of information on their site. They have blog posts, they have YouTube videos, they have podcasts. Go listen to all of that stuff um, and let me know how you get on. Until then, I shall see you soon.